Hello and welcome to day five of Emu's Christmas property tips. Uh, my friend, colleague and all-round elf, Ryan, is going to ask me a burning question. Aren't you, Ryan? Um, hello, Russell. Hello. Thank you for having me. That's all right. What can I help you with? How much is conveyance, though? Very good question. Very good question. Uh, and a very important one again, because um, conveyancers, stroke solicitors, so they're the people that convey the legal transaction for when you have an offer accepted on a property all the way through to moving day, um, some of them frankly can be really quite shocking. So uh, ensuring that you choose the right one is very, very important. Um, first of all, take the advice of your estate agent. They will deal with conveyancing companies, stroke solicitors, uh, and kind of will have potentially a bit of a gun to their head in terms of making sure that if the service levels of that conveyancer fall, the estate agent then no longer recommends them. So it, it means the service levels have to stay high. Isn't that right, Ryan? Right, yeah. Yes. Um, also, make sure that when you get a quote from that conveyance, so particularly if you go off on your own and start searching around for conveyancing quotes, make sure it includes disbursements and VAT. Lots and lots of conveyances will quote you their, their cost, but they won't include disbursements like searches and, uh, and so on. So, so make sure that's all included so that you can compare like for like. Um, also, as with mortgage brokers, as we said previously, make sure you check them out on Trustpilot. Uh, some conveyances are very good, most are okay, but some are truly shocking. And what you don't want is a conveyance to deal with your transaction for two or three months, uh, whereby they don't ever come back to you uh, and uh, generally give you a poor standard of service and communication. Um, also, make sure your conveyance is no sale, no fee, which means that if the transaction falls through, particularly through no fault of your own, they don't charge you an abortive fee, so basically they don't charge you unless you complete. Um, and there are also things like free home movers insurance that you should see if you can get included as well. Um, and lastly, even midway through the transaction, if they are rubbish, fire them and just go somewhere else. You can transfer all the, uh, the, the transaction details, the file effectively to a new conveyancer. Uh, don't hesitate in doing that because a bad conveyancer can actually jeopardise your sale, jeopardise your purchase. So um, there you go, does that answer your question? Thank you very much, it does. Brilliant.